I'm Adam Montry, Hoop House Outreach Specialist in the Department of Horticulture and with the Center for Regional Food Systems at Michigan State University. Today we're here at Ten Hens Farm to talk about how to string peppers. So we're in a 30 by 96 foot hoop house right now. Uh, we've got a number of different crops growing in this particular house. So when we do peppers, uh, there's lots of different ways to do them, lots of different spacings depending on bed sizes, variety. Uh, and, and so what we do is in our four foot wide beds uh, here, we do two, two rows, and depending on which type of pepper they are, the spacing in row is a little different. So here we've got some lunchbox peppers, which are the small you know, red, orange, and yellow ones that you see at the grocery store as well. They don't get much bigger than these here, but they're sweet, and uh, we harvested yesterday, so there's not many colored ones on them now, but they just started turning a few weeks ago. Um, so when we do these kind of peppers, uh, in row spacing is about one foot. So you can see down here, uh, you know, we've got these plants are really pretty close together and for the bells we do uh, some Red Knight and some California Wonder. These ones are spaced at 18 inches in the row. So again, it's a four foot wide bed, two rows and then either a one foot or an 18 inches depending. We also do some hot peppers, some habaneros, some jalapenos um, and a few other, other hot ones. And for those we're usually spaced at 80, 18 inches as well. So there's lots of different ways to string them. Um, each farm does it a little bit differently, but this is how we do it here. So each of these rows uh, gets one of these one inch by one inch by 40 inch stakes. So what we do is we take one of these, we pound it every three plants. So you can see there's another one here, a couple plants, another one here. So what we do is we've got this tomato twine here. Um, we buy it in boxes of 7,500 feet and we string these just like we would string or basket weave uh, determinate tomatoes. So we're going to run the string down one side, wrapping it around each of the posts, then we're going to come back on the other side and what's going to happen is the string's going to hold these peppers up, keep them off the ground, um, keep some good airflow going through there, and, uh, and keep them really nice and healthy. And we usually end up, depending on the peppers, with two or three of lines of this per season. So we go ahead and we just tie a knot on the end here. Again, there's lots of different ways to do this. Some people like to use a stick um, wrapped around the string to help them get in, weave in and out. That works great. Um, this is just what's worked for us now. So the key is to keeping this string as taut as possible. Once it gets loose or gets caught or tangled on anything, it becomes a real pain to untangle and to get it to hold these plants tight. So um, you don't want to go ahead and put all of your strings on in the beginning of the season when the plants are small because what ends up happening is that as they grow, you're trying to jam them up through there and they end up being damaged. So we do it as the plants grow. And they can be a little bit taller like this and you can just use your hand, kind of like that, pull them back and run that string under. You wanna make sure that you run it uh, under a, a fruit so that you don't run it on the outside of it so that as the fruit grows, it doesn't cut into there. All right, so then we come on this side of the plant Sometimes we wrap it once, sometimes we wrap it twice, just depends on, you know, I guess, what we're feeling like or how taut we want this or how heavy the plants are. Then we go on the other side of these plants. Go ahead and wrap it. Come on this side of these plants. Wrap it, this side of these plants. And you can see once you get going or once you do it enough, it's pretty easy to get a good rhythm going. And then we would go ahead and we would do it all the way down. Um, and then when we come back, we want to go on the other side of these plants and make sure that we're catching them to hold them up. Flip it over there and you can see when we pull it, you know, depending on how taut, you know, it's going to pull those plants right together and hold them up off the ground. It also makes picking a whole lot easier as well because they're up higher and we don't also get uh, any rotting down where the peppers might be laying on the ground if we just let them fall over. So you can see this one's way over. It's really easy. Just take your arm, pull it up. We go under some of that fruit, hook it there. You can see now that's a whole lot easier. We can see the fruit on here. Uh, it's nice and big, growing really well. It's a good year for peppers for us. Um, and again, just kind of hold, pull it tight there and that'll keep it from, from falling down onto the ground. And then what we tend to do at the end, when we come back down and tie onto this, just take a pair of scissors Hold it taut here and cut on that side. And then we usually find what we started with at first when we first tied on. And we just go ahead and tie a knot in there.
And there we go. So that's how we string up peppers here. Um, again, lots of different ways to do it, but this is something that's worked really well for us. And uh, it also makes picking on both sides of the plants a much easier.